Audrey. So today I thought we would talk about um, kind of financing options for clients who are missing out on opportunities. I have had a couple of buyers who we've written offers for who um, we've gotten denied just due to the terms of other offers that are being submitted. Mm -hmm. So for instance, yeah. we're coming in with financing and we are contingent on financing though, although our price is just as competitive as someone else. So what yeah. options do buyers have? I, I know we've talked about an all cash offer um, situation. So could you explain that to us and how that works? Yeah, it's pretty exciting. This is a new product that I haven't ever seen conventional lenders do yet. So this is a product that is very unique to cross-country mortgage uh, where I work. And so essentially, we're going to see, we always see really high competitive markets bring out cash offers. So people that have money, they pay to play and they're willing to pay that cash to get that offer accepted. So how do we help these people that don't they can't make a cash offer, but they're willing to play with the purchase price. How do we help them compete against the all cash offers? So we have a new product that literally gives them cash to play so they can literally make an all cash offer. So what we do is the client just needs to get pre-approved and then we'll do an analysis when they, when they locate that property, when they're about to make an offer, we'll do a quick analysis just to make sure what the value is, what the buyer's qualifications are. And then it's just a really quick, simple addendum that everybody signs. And what this program allows people to do is literally make an all cash offer. And sometimes depending on the seller, some sellers don't want a fast close. They might still be making an offer. So if they're wanting to close in eight days, perfect. We will fund it. The buyer just has to only place 10% down. So that's the only minimum requirement. So that's great. They don't have to put 20 or 30% down like with some bridge loan programs, but 10% down, we will front the money for that. So technically cross country mortgage is the buyer. And then after closing cross country sells it back to the buyer who was buying it originally. So it's a really great program that allows people to compete against all cash offers and make an all cash offer and still get their financing on the back end after everything's said and done. It's a really amazing program. Wow, that's awesome. So close in as little as eight days. I mean, it's it's cash. So yeah, it can close sooner than that too. But oh. I was just using that as an example for, you know, sometimes people with cash, it doesn't close immediately that day. Title company still needs to do their their work. Everybody still needs to sign. So there's typically a couple of days that happen in between. Um, but let's say if we're making an all cash offer on something and the seller wants 18 day close. Oh. If we can get the loan done in time for that buyer, even though we made an all cash offer, we can still work on the loan. So that way we'll eliminate that two-step process. So if we can get the loan done, that's fine. Then it'll just be a normal loan as, as, you know, as intended. But if the seller does need to close sooner than that, no problem. We'll just swap out that cash offer and then sell it to the buyer afterwards. So it's pretty flexible. It gives them both options, which is great. That's really awesome. And then is there yeah. a um, price point cutoff for this loan? This yeah. Yeah. Great question. It is for conforming loans only, but most of the Bay area. So in our area, the conforming loan limits, 1,149,825. <laughs> I love how they come up with these numbers. So if somebody's putting 10% down, cause 10% is that minimum. So you, you're pretty much looking at a 1,277,000 purchase price if they're only doing the 10%. So of course, people that are making more than 10%, you can go higher in purchase price as well. That's just the minimum that we require. So it is for conforming. It does have to be owner occupied. So this isn't for second homes or investment properties. Um, it also, it has to be for single unit. So it can't be a, a duplex or more than that. It's going to be a single, single unit property. Um, and obviously nothing for co-ops, um, or TICs. So just normal vanilla owner occupied standard properties. This will be perfect for. Awesome. Well, that's so exciting. I am pumped to, to tell all my clients about this. It's going to be so helpful. So yeah. Mm -hmm.